water, yeah. water, right down. water, uh -huh. water, okay. water, what? water, Drip. water, Splash. water. What's up, guys? Noel B here, coming at you from Honolulu, Hawaii, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys what oxidizing and antioxidizing substances are that we put into our bodies. So to really understand what I'm talking about, I have a ORP meter here. So this basically tests how oxidizing something is or how antioxidizing something is. So before we begin, you need to understand what ORP means. It means oxidation reduction potential. It's easier to understand it backwards. The potential reduction of oxidation. So if you cut an apple in half and it starts to turn brown, you're right, it's oxidizing. Now if something is high with antioxidants, then it's reversing that project uh, process or it's slowing that process down. So let's go ahead and test out Kangen water first, shall we? So anything in the negatives is good. So I'm gonna let this sit and we're gonna see the number just climb. All right, so about a negative 300. Let's go over to tap water. We can see that the tap water is dropping out of the negatives and going towards the positives. Tap water caps out to about a hundred, about a hundred. Let's say, let's say a hundred. We're gonna go over to Aquafina. Dasani. The no positives. Menehune water. Now for those of you who like to drink Propel Fitness Water. 14. My homies that drink sparkling water. So all this stuff is oxidizing you. It's not helping your body consume antioxidants. Everyone knows that soda is terrible for the insides, terrible for the human body, but hey, we drink it anyways. And then over to some vodka. We know there's no antioxidants in here, that's for sure. So you basically understand it. Anything in the positives is aging you faster. Anything in the negatives is slowing that process down. Antioxidants, oxidizing. Antioxidants, oxidizing. This is extremely, extremely oxidacious. Oxidacious, do you think that's a word? I have no idea. Let's see if we can get up to 400. We probably will. Now back over to the Kangen water. So you can see that all water is not equal. All water isn't water. All coffee isn't coffee. All gasoline isn't just gasoline. Not all water is water. So do you wanna be drinking the best and highest quality water for your body? You might want to if you plan on drinking water for the rest of your life. Why not drink the best, highest quality water for the rest of your life? Where are we at? 315. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping in on Kong and Water Wednesdays, episode 15. I love your faces. See you on the next episode.